excuse my appearance, I've just gone through a serious trauma in which I had to be in, abusive, in an abusive household where the women of the house were too intimidated by my long bushy hair. So they pressured the fucking person that was like my safe harbor there to fucking shave off my all my facial hair and cut my hair to look stupid, to, to look like this. So, sorry, I'm sensitive about it. So now I'm supposed to look naturally. But, um... If you know anything about string theory, quantum mechanics, um, quantum entanglement, quantum teleportation, um, the many worlds theory, um, any of that shit, quantum computing, any of, all of it is relevant to this. My philosophy on life, this is how I believe reality to actually be. Have you ever seen Rick and Morty? That's part of what kind of helped me cement this. Because the truth is, if you break reality down to its basic building blocks, like the tiniest particle or wave or whatever, like literally nothing, like what everything's made of, at the ba most basic level, and you started taking those parts and pieces and rearranging them and putting them together and iterating on that, if you did that infinitely, there would be an infinite number of iterations of this reality where a single cosmic quark is the only difference between, the two, between that reality and this one, or, or any two realities. But the other truth about that is, is that we all exist within a quantum tesseract of a reality. That's the, I mean, that's layman's terms. We don't have, I, I don't think we have a way of, of describing this. We're standing in every iteration of existence right now. We're standing in the iteration of existence where every single possible space in the universe is filled up with fucking concrete. It's possible, so it's happened. And even if we haven't figured out how to iterate like this yet, Eventually, someone or something will, which means they already have, because time is not linear. Time already exists. It's, it's, it's already a thing. It's like taking your favorite movie, breaking it down into all its constituent pixels and frames, and rearranging them at will. It's the same content, but you're perceiving it differently. You're perceiving it actually more like how it is, because really... All that file is is just a whole bunch of data and ones and zeros to be manipulated as you please. You don't have to view it in a linear fashion. You don't have to view it the way it was intended to be viewed. That's the same way with reality and time. Time's already happened. Everything's already happened. Every single iteration of this reality already exists. And... <sighs> that brings some existential crises to me. Because I know if I drop dead right now, that's just one of an infinite number of, uh, of iterations of my reality where I drop dead right now. I know there's an infinite number of iterations of my reality where I live on and become a billion years old because some magical wonder technology helps sustain my life. Hell, there's an infinite number of realities where I'm just like Rick, hopping through dimensions, uh, you know, with no care in the world because literally none of it matters. There's an infinite number of realities where, where I still have my wife. Where we never devolved into a relationship that was objectively abusive to each other without intent. And I know that our quantum reality... It, I mean, the problem is no one really has free will except for the fact that this iteration of your reality is one where you exerted some of your free will just in this particular way. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as ceasing to exist. I mean, everyone's immortal. You know, the the person who got gunned down yesterday. Okay, well, what about the infinite number of uh, the infinite realities where that person didn't go out that day, went down a different street, the gun jammed, uh, the person couldn't get a gun, the person that person had uh, had died already. Um, the infinite realities where oh she still got shot, but he had, she had gum on her shoe. Or just a single cell in her brain was different. But nothing else was different in the entirety of this entire iteration of reality. 
And if we could perceive on a high enough level, we'd be able to see this. We'd be able to leverage it and literally just choose what we want to, you know, which iteration we want to shift to. It's all about perception. If we could perceive it, we'd be able to, if we could perceive it, we'd be able to feel everything that we've ever felt in every single infinite reality all at once. Because that's what it is. Reality is an infinitesimally tiny, little tiny itty bitty speck of a thing. Inclu it includes everything that could possibly exist, literally time, energy, quantum, everything. You know? So, when I say that, you know, not, when Rick says nothing matters, when I say nothing matters, it's true, except to, the, except for the fact that, okay, yes, there's an infinite number of you that pff, this matters to. There's just an infinite number of you that knows it doesn't matter. An infinite number of you that kind of, oh, it matters a little bit less, or it matters a little bit more. Or an infinite number of you having an existential crisis listening to this. And it goes way deeper than that. I'm becoming a spiritual guru on this. 